Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and this is part two of the Picture Frame PC. I'm gonna be going over some of the new changes uh, that I've made to this since the first video. And basically, uh, I've upgraded the CPU, the RAM, and the hard drive, um, base, uh, mainly because a friend of mine, he uh, updated his computer, or he uh, got a new computer, and so he let me have his old parts. And uh, what I've got running in here now is uh, an X3 processor. Before it was just a single core Sempron processor, uh, but now I'm running a, a triple core processor in here. And then uh, I've got four gigs of RAM uh, now. Before it was two gigs of RAM. So uh, I've got that running. And so because I've got more RAM and more CPU, I decided to uh, run Windows 7 as my host operating system. And uh, with that, I'll install VirtualBox and I'll run other operating systems like Linux, uh, Backtrack Linux, and uh, Ubuntu, and maybe some other one, maybe Chrome OS, I don't know. Um, but basically, uh, I upgraded the hard drive. I know that before I wanted to run it on a, on a thumb drive, uh, but because I got the new hardware and the new uh, operating systems that I'll be running, I needed to get a bigger hard drive. So now I have a, a 60 gig solid state hard drive on there. It's not incredibly huge, but uh, I'm just trying it out just to see how, how it runs. And so basically, I guess I'll show you first uh, how I log into this machine right here. And uh, essentially, I have the iPad here and I'm running an app called uh, Splashtop HD. It's a great app um, to remote connect into uh, other machines, uh, desktops and whatnot. And so uh, you can also use this software on, a, on another desktop. So I could be on a computer and I can connect to uh, this machine uh, from another computer if I wanted to. Um, so basically this is the app that I run. And uh, I've got a list of uh, my machines here and the frame PC is the very top one there. So once I click on that, basically it's gonna start up and this is my um, desktop here, right? So I can control the mouse, I can bring up the uh, keyboard. There's the keyboard there. Um, what's great about this is that I can also uh, play sound. Um, I can hear the sounds coming from the machine, from the picture frame PC. And so I'll just go ahead and start up uh, VirtualBox and I have a couple of operating systems here, but I'll just go ahead and start up um, Backtrack Linux. So this is going to start up now. And so essentially what this machine has, um, it has two wireless network cards. Uh, one network card uh, is to connect to the internet regularly um, via the host operating system via uh, Windows 7. And then uh, the second uh, wireless card is for um, capturing packets, packet sniffing and whatnot. So let me go ahead and log into Backtrack Linux. So that's it, full on uh, Linux operating system. Hopefully I can get Chrome on here. What I wanna try is actually uh, uh, other Ubuntu Linux um, with the uh, Unity uh, skin uh, where it has all the icons that's kind of made for um, uh, uh, what is it netbooks and whatnot the netbook edition Ubuntu Linux so that there's big buttons and it would just I just want to see how it looks on a on a tablet here to to run applications and whatnot this is a, a great um, remote desktop applications I know there's a lot of other free ones this particular app uh, was 10 bucks for the um, actually I think it was five bucks for the iPad but 10 bucks for the Android tablet I also have it for the Android tablet but uh, the thing about this app uh, for the iPad is that I can also connect to this machine over the internet. So that's a new feature that they just implemented in the uh, iPad version. And uh, basically I can be on my iPad and this is connected to the internet. I have to log in with my Google account. I don't know what the ties are with that, uh, how it's able to, I, I don't know if they use it as an authentication or does it actually route my, my packets through Google or whatever, I don't know. But uh, either way, it does work, it works very well. So uh, when I play uh, like uh, HD videos and whatnot um, off of here, from here, like Hulu, I could play Hulu, uh, which is really nice. And uh, it runs very well. 
actually uh, it runs very well you can hear the sound play the video and whatnot there's lots of other um, videos on reviewing the uh, splashtop I'm not going to get too much into it um, the Android version however splashtop I can't connect uh, over the internet uh, on the splashtop for Android um, I'm pretty sure that's something that they're gonna implement very soon like I said the internet over the internet connection with the iPad that's a fairly new um, feature so I'm pretty sure they'll have it for the for the iPad or for the Android uh, tablet as well uh, so the next thing I'm going to show you now is the actual insides the innards of all of this stuff and the inner workings and how I kind of pieced it and put it all together all right all right so here is the picture frame with the uh, top half or the top cover opened and so basically this is how it opens up all right and there's two hinges right there and right there I'll show you the top later but essentially this is it right here this is the motherboard the uh, wireless cards right here and there are four bolts there's one right there there's one right here here and here right and so uh, basically I just put the uh, motherboard down took a pen or marker made the four dots drilled holes into it and then ran the bolts on the other side and uh, right underneath here you'll see there's actually another bolt or another nut that once I uh, put the uh, bolt through you put a one of these um, nuts down right so it gives it a little bit of space and then uh, you tighten it down with another bolt or another nut and that's pretty much it and that's the same on all four sides there right so there it is there all right so then uh, yeah that's pretty much it there's the RAM right here four gigs of RAM SATA cable I might do something with that I think I want to get a black cable instead not an orange one I might try to run it underneath as well and I turn off the lights because uh, for the camera purposes it's gonna wig out and just blow everything out um, then there's the other uh, light and uh, wireless cards so then here's the power supply which is being held down by velcro make sure that the uh, ventilation is facing up so that all the heat can come out right and then this is the uh, hole that I made for the cable so that it uh, hangs straight down so essentially well, all I did here was just I drilled the hole right and then I just made a cut straight down and then took out that little chunk and I took a little marker and just painted it in black I might get some regular paint though but this will fit this and then it'll fit one more cable like an ethernet cable right if I wanted to connect ethernet to it and then there's my wiring all the bundle of wires and then this is a uh, the uh, solid state hard drive it's also velcro on the other end of that and then uh, the other cable this right here is just extra I didn't really need it but uh, I kind of like the way it looks how it's all braided individually and it's black and then the, there's a the cable here for my fan which is right over here and so this is a uh, intake so air is coming in from the outside from the back here and then uh, it will fill up the uh, picture frame but then it will exhaust out of these two holes right here I was gonna cut them wider but I just got lazy and plus I didn't have the proper cutting tools and I really made a mess same thing with this the hole that I made for this so let me show you the back how the back looks And also the top so that's the uh, one of the hinges there I'll probably paint that and then uh, there's the other hinge and then there's the cable that uh, you can hang the picture frame up with and then there's the 
air intake. I gotta uh, take that better. This, and uh, all of this stuff, I kind of made a mess out of it. But then I also put a little grill here. Also, one so that uh, you don't mess up your fingers. But I need a little bit of space. Um, so there's just uh, screws. And uh, the same deal as the motherboard with uh, uh, nuts and bolts holding it down. And then this little grill here to give it a little bit of space so that the uh, fan that's spinning there doesn't hit this cardboard. And then the exhaust holes there. And uh, it pretty much holds up. I can't uh, really hold this up and the camera, but it does hold just fine. There's no problems. It's a pretty light box. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything seems to be running. I've run this all day without any problems, but uh, I'm always like paranoid. So uh, I never run it like day and night unattended. So I'll run it in the daytime uh, while I'm here in the labs. And then when I'm not using it, when I'm not here, I turn it off. And uh, I'll be taking this around and sh showing it for stuff. Also, I plan on painting um, either the back there or the uh, the um, this front little white panel. The one thing though, I wished uh, that I had either positioned this fan somewhere else and used the smaller one. This is a 90 millimeter fan, and uh, you know it's you can't see it when you look at it straight on. I mean, it's not too obvious, but you know when you're walking by and you're looking at the side there you can see it and I kind of don't want that and uh, this frame will be up high so like you probably won't be able to see the power supply and whatnot you just be able to see that I plan on putting a couple more lights on the inside part here behind these um, for uh, like UV lights to try to get things to light up more um, yeah, so other than that, other than the fan uh, being too big, and I had an 80 millimeter fan, I wish I'd use that instead. And uh, the next thing I'll probably upgrade is the uh, stock CPU fan. Probably get one of those uh, home theater PC low profile fans, you know, a little something a little fancy with like lights or whatever, just for looks, for aesthetics. This fan is perfectly fine, but uh, I think I just want to, you know, get something a little showy. And that's pretty much it. That's the picture frame PC. Thanks for watching. John of the Geek out. Peace.